Hello, my friends, and welcome to exercise number one. In this exercise, we are asked to give the result of these constants. We have four constants, and we have these Boolean expressions, and we need to get the results. So let's consider the first value, or the first constant. It's named Q1, and having true and true. So true and the true. Uh, by the logic, it is equal to true. So, as we said in the previous videos, true and the true gives true. True and false will give false. False and the true will give false. And false and false will give false. So, whenever you see the and expression and there is the no true and the true here, it will give false okay so this if we if we use the you can print out the if you can print out the result like print ln but i will uh, use here the kotlin we have if we hover the mouse simplify boolean expression and it is equal to true so it is the same result as we print the q1 Okay, now Q2, what is the result of Q2? False or false will give false because as we said in the previous videos, true or true, true, true or false, true, false or true, true, false or false, false. This is the the only expression in or that will give you false. And this is the only expression in true that will give you a true in end. Okay, so if we hover, simplify Boolean expression and it will give false. Okay, it's very simple. These are the simple mathematics and simple logic mathematics. Now, we have Q3. We have this expression here, and we have or. You see, guys, this is the or, and we have a second part here. We need to simplify first the first part and the second part later on, and we make the or between them. So inside this, if we t take this and we put it here, what it is equal to? It is also uh, divided into two parts, the first part and the, the second part. And we have an expression between them. So how to do that and how to think uh, in logic. True and we need to get this. One does not equal to two. So one does not equal to two is true. Okay, so one does not equal to two. So I am verifying a true and a true. And since we have uh, calculated it in the previous uh, question, it's a Q1. So true and the true will give true. So it is very simple, okay? It's very simple. So the first part in this question is equal to true. So let me put it here. This is equal to true. And we have or bet between the two. And we need now to calculate for greater than three and 100 less than one. So, I can give you now the result directly. Since true or anything will give us true. So the Q3 would exactly give us true, despite it is true here or false, okay? But let me check the other equation to, show, to allow you to solve and think like uh, a, a Boolean expressions, okay? <clears throat> for 
greater than three and we have end sign here and 100 less than one. Four, greater than three, yes, it is true. And 100 less than one, no, false. And we have learned that true and false will give a false because true should with and it should be true here to always give us true okay so it is false now we get true or false with will give us now it is true okay it is very simple guys it is about uh, expression boolean expression and logic if we hover the mouse here and simplify boolean expression it will give us true exactly like what we have done okay now i want from you also to uh, to make this expression and give me the result in the comment below okay so post the video and comment the question and the answer below so did you think it about think about it okay let me solve it we have here q1 q4 we have two expressions one and two and they are separated by and so let me start solving this and this we need to make the division first and make the evaluation at, is, is it equal greater than three or no 10 over two it is equal to five so five greater than three yes it is equal it is greater than three so it is true at the first one we get this equal and the sign and sign and we need to verify this so 10 modulo 2 if we divide 10 over 2 it is equal to 5 if there is any remainder any uh, thing remainder no because 5 times 2 will give us 10 so remainder is equal to 0 is it equal to 0 yes it is equal to 0 so it is returning the true so true and true will give us true okay now let's use this simplify boolean expression you can click alt plus shift plus enter to get the simplified boolean and it is equal to true and good work guys we have solved the exercise number one and it is very important to start thinking about boolean expression and think about how kotlin yeah, deals with the expressions the operators and how the logical things works in coding